What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to save copy as with a password, meaning that you want to save this file here on the right in a new location, but you don't want to alter the original file by putting a password in the original file. So what we're going to be doing is creating a copy of this file on the right and then saving it down here on the lower left in this um, test folder with a new name and with a password. So let's get right into it. Let's call this sub save copy as password and let's declare a variable. We're going to call it output and it's going to be a string. Let's go ahead and set what our output's going to be equal to. And it's going to be the file path, the destination file path. So that's going to be in the C drive under users. Gregor Waffles is the username. Um, it's going to be in the documents folder. And within that folder is my test folder. And now the actual name of the file, let's call it countries of the world. That XLSM. And by the way, I got this file online. Uh, the link will be in the description. I use this in pretty much every video. So here's our output string. It's just going to be this location right here on the bottom left. And we could just do active workbook. And the active workbook is going to be this workbook on the right. Save as. Or save copy as. And then the file name is going to be output, which we just declared. And with save as, you can just put a comma here and put password. And then add whatever password you want. But it doesn't work with save copy as. And these are both wrong anyway. I'd have to put an equal sign there and an equal sign here. But we could even try it. So if we run this macro, we get an error when we try to do that because of the password. So it's not as simple as save as. If we did save as, it'd be fine. It'd work. But save copy as is a lot different. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is declare another variable. Let's call it DB or WB. It's going to be a workbook. And with this workbook, we're going to have to set it to something. Let's set it to workbooks open, and then we're going to reference output again. So what this does is it saves a copy of this file on the right in this folder here. And then it's going to open up the folder. And after we open the folder, we're going to want to save it. So we're going to reference WB and we're going to use save as file name. Is going to be output. So we actually reference output three times. And now we can put our password on. And it could be something simple uh, ABC123. And now we're going to close this new workbook we just copied. All right, so we can save that down. We can run our macro. We got an error here. What went wrong? Oh, okay. There's a colon there. There should not be one. Sorry about that. 
save it again let's try running it so you see this pop-up uh, it's going to be like an overriding pop-up we can actually get rid of that if we want to because if you're, if you're going to click yes every time there's no point in for it to come up so in order to prevent that from happening we can add some more codes in here so let's go ahead and just delete this and we can just throw it right here and what we need is application dot display alerts we want to turn those off so we're going to set that to false so that's false now and then we can just turn it back on at the end okay there you have it so we'll save that and we should see this file have a copy created of itself saved down in the test folder and then that file is going to have this password and a new name and then we'll do that without altering this folder so let's run it and see that this, the uh, pop-up didn't come up this time so now we can test it just to make sure the password works try to open it And you see it's asking for a password. A, B, C, one, two, three. Enable macros, and it's open. So yeah, there you have it. I uh, really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it.